According to the research, most people who use positive affirmations are missing this key element in order to make them most effective. And the result is that they may be doing more harm than good. Are you getting the most out of your positive affirmations? If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell now to make sure that you don't miss any new videos on how to live a more authentic and fearless life. As a scientist, I'm intensely curious about the ways that we can hack our brain to work a little bit better for us rather than be working against us. I was shocked to realize that most of the time we're doing more harm than good with our positive affirmations. If you've ever told yourself, I'm strong, I'm smart, I'm enough, I am rich, you may be actually causing more depression, lower self-esteem, and actually decreasing your probability of performing well on a task. Recent research has found that using I statements, like I'm strong, I'm smart, when you're in a place of low self-esteem, may actually decrease your ability to pull yourself out of that depression. When you're in a space of low confidence already, those I statements that simply don't ring true actually lower your ability to make a good impression and make you feel worse about yourself. But don't worry, there is something that you can do about it. Research from the University of California and the University of Michigan suggests that there's a little workaround that you can use to make these affirmations work for you again. It's pretty simple. Just talk about yourself in the third person. You know, like LeBron James did when he made his decision to leave Cleveland for the Miami Heat. I wanted to do uh, what was best um, you know, for LeBron James. The link to see LeBron James talking about, well, LeBron James is in the description below. But why don't you start using this better yet for yourself? What affirmation are you ready to begin using with third person narration? Leave it in the comments below and then tag a friend who needs to know about this as well. The friend you tag is really the key element in this science behind making positive affirmations work better for you. It's having somebody talk to you outside of yourself that actually makes this work. It gives your brain a little distance to see yourself, well, outside of yourself. And that lowers the emotions, allowing you to talk to yourself in a way that a friend might. It gives a perspective that we're used to getting from others, one we trust more. By being an outsider to our own minds, we actually create a little psychological distance, allowing us to be kinder and a little bit more wise when we're coaching ourselves. So what's stopping you from getting the most out of your affirmations? Rebecca knows that when Rebecca does affirmations like this, she is always a stronger, more kind, more positive individual. If you're struggling with negativity and fear in your life, I'd love to help you move to a more confident, authentic space where you can live more fear less. Reach out to me directly at info at rebeccaheist.com or go ahead and take the imposter syndrome quiz and find out some more tips and tricks that you can use to help move yourself into a more confident, authentic, fulfilled life. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you're not missing any of the tips and tricks that I give to help you live more fearlessly and make your brain start working for you rather than against you. See you next time.